So here he is out of the blue corner, the number one heavyweight contender fighting for the title here tonight. Daniel Cormier has eight championship belts at home. Do you remember, though, the nerves for your first UFC title? It's the most overwhelming thing you've ever <laughs> felt in your entire life. You are sitting in the back waiting for that moment where you get an opportunity to go chase something greater than yourself. So many people have played a part to get this man to this spot. How does he deliver? How does he not let anyone down? How does he ultimately become the champion of the world? This is a big spot for him. He is so excited to try and become the man. Well, self-belief is a powerful thing. He has long thought that he is the best heavyweight in the world. Tonight, he gets a chance to prove it. themselves out. Oh, they're going to cost themselves. So we may as well. Oh. They're going out of here. Two shots landing on both sides. Jab hurt him a little bit. Oh. Hurt bad. So both guys landing it well here. Good action early. Oh, nice right hand. Both of these gentlemen are putting it on the line. Well, he rocked 
him, but couldn't finish it. Yeah. Him. He hurt him bad. He couldn't find that one. Oh, takes it down the overhand. Now he's hurt. That's one of those shots that if you take one of them, it's in the night that will be All right, so now we start to see some. is a constant exercise in risk. Oh! That'll do it! Oh, my goodness! Let's get it to Bruce Buffer now. He has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 19 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout and new undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Chaka Nomad Rothmanov. There is a new baddest man on the planet. There's the new UFC heavyweight champion. You don't get them all right, DC, but you thought this was going to be the result, and we got a new champ. I mean, he has so much power and such an ability to shut the lights off that you almost saw it coming. Congratulations to the new baddest man on the planet.